Here's the full story of Aang and Katara. Wow, you look beautiful. When Katara was little, her grandmother told her stories about the Avatar. He disappeared from the world and hasn't been seen for 100 years. Katara had always hoped the Avatar would return one day to bring balance to the world. And if it wasn't for her, he would still be missing. I need to ask you something. What? Please, come closer. What is it? Will you go penguin sledding with me? Uh, sure, I, I guess. There was something about that goofy bald kid that just fascinated Katara. Katara, try not to put all your hopes in this boy. But he's special, I can tell. I sense he's filled with much wisdom. See? Now I found this stuff can like this. Aang didn't even realize how long he was frozen until she helped him piece it together. A hundred years. I can't believe it. I'm sorry, Aang. Maybe somehow there's a bright side to all this. I did get to meet you. And as it turned out, there was a lot more about him that she didn't know. You're the airbender? You're the avatar? Aang? No way. After finding out Aang was the avatar, Katara knew they could both find a waterbending master in the Northern Water Tribe. Alongside her brother Sokka, they began their journey to the North Pole. And Sokka? I'm sure you'll get to knock some firebender heads on the way. I'd like that. I'd really like that. In a mere matter of weeks, the two of them experienced several near-death experiences. From a giant sea monster, a crazy Earth King, a band of pirates, and of course, firebenders. <coughs> Katara. Don't ride the Unagi. Not fun. Things were never this crazy before Katara met the Avatar, but she had faith in their journey, and she was doing everything she could to help Aang. The Avatar disappeared for a hundred years. You turned your back on the world. Don't yell at him. Aang would never turn his back on anyone. He told her the story about how he ended up in that iceberg in the first place. She was the first one to know. Aang, the fisherman was right. I did turn my back on the world. You're being too hard on yourself. Even if you did run away, I think it was meant to be. If you had stayed, you would have been killed along with all the other airbenders. You don't know that. I know it's meant to be this way. The world needs you now. You give people hope. Their friendship had grown strong, but for Aang, it was starting to become more than just a friendship. Smoochy, smoochy, someone's in love. Stop teasing him, Sokka. Aang's just a good friend. A sweet little guy. Just like Momo. Aang's just a good friend. Aang's just a good friend. Aang's just a good friend. Just like Momo. That's rough, buddy. After meeting the fortune teller, Aunt Wu, Katara learned she was going to one day marry an extremely powerful bender. That's when Aang saw an opportunity to make his move. Don't you think that cloud looks like a flower? Shh. But it proved to be harder than he expected. I like you, but more than normal. Never mind. Luckily for Aang, Sokka was there to help him out. The number one mistake nice guys like you make? Being too nice. You can be too nice? Yep. If you want to keep her interested, you have to act aloof. Like, you don't really care one way or the other. So, papaya. Uh-huh. Would you like some? You know me. I don't really care what I eat. OK, then. See you later. <laughs> Maybe aloof isn't my style. Turns out all it would take to woo Katara was a massive volcano. Sometimes I forget what a powerful bender that kid is. Wait, what did you just say? Nothing, just that Aang is one powerful bender. I suppose he is. Speaking of giant balls of fire, not long after, they met a firebender named Zhang Zhang. He was going to help Aang learn firebending. 
Zhang Zhang was trying to teach him how dangerous fire can be, and not to rush into any advanced firebending techniques. Aang, you'll hurt yourself! But if it wasn't for Aang, Katara would have never discovered a secret ability of her own. You have healing abilities. The great benders of the Water Tribe sometimes have this ability. I've always wished I were blessed like you. Zhang Zhang tried to tell me that I wasn't ready. I wouldn't listen. I'm never gonna firebend again. You'll have to eventually. No, never again. It's okay, Aang. I'm healed. What? How? I'll explain later. But right now, we have to get out of here. Over the next few weeks, Aang and Katara made their way to the North Pole, met a waterbending master, and saved the tribe from a Fire Nation invasion. But the two of them still had a lot of work to do. With Master Paku heading to the south, Katara became Aang's waterbending teacher. Your arms are too far apart. See, if you move them closer together, you protect your center. You got it? Oh. Yeah, thanks. They began their journey to the Earth Kingdom, where Aang needed to find an earthbending master. Along the way, they met General Fong. He believed Aang didn't need to learn the other elements in order to defeat the Fire Lord. All he needed was the power of the Avatar State. As the ultimate weapon, we could cut a swath right through to the heart of the Fire Nation. Right, but I don't know how to get in or out of the Avatar State, much less what to do once I'm there. So it's decided then. I'll help you figure out how to get into the Avatar State, and then you'll face your destiny. Katara had seen what the Avatar State does to Aang, and let's just say she wasn't too thrilled about Fong's plan. I'm not saying the Avatar State doesn't have incredible and helpful power, but you have to understand, for the people who love you, watching you be in that much rage and pain is really scary. After several failed attempts to trigger the Avatar State, Fong went to his last resort. Ah, please! You don't need to do this! Apparently, I do. Ah! It worked! It worked! And it worked! I'm sorry, Katara. I hope you never have to see me like that again. Oh, but she totally would later. But first, they still needed to get to Omashu. When a group of Fire Nation soldiers blocked their path, they needed to take a detour through a secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Of course, that proved to be harder than expected. After getting separated from Sokka, Aang and Katara discovered a clue that may help them escape. I was thinking, the curse says we'll be trapped in here forever unless we trust in love. Right. And here it says love is brightest in the dark and has a picture of them kissing. Where are you going with this? Well, what if we kissed? Us kissing? See, it was a crazy idea. Us. Kissing. <laughs> Us kissing? What was I thinking? Can you imagine that? Yeah, <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to kiss you. Oh, well, I didn't realize it was such a horrible option. Sorry I suggested it. No, no, I mean, if it was a choice between kissing you and dying... <laughs> oh! 
What? I'm saying I would rather kiss you than die. That's a compliment. Well, I'm not sure which I would rather do. What is wrong with me? That's rough, buddy. But it turns out, love is brightest in the dark. That love helped them escape not only the cave, but the desert as well. After Appa was captured, Aang was absolutely devastated. The whole team was broken, but Katara was doing everything she could to keep the group together, even if it meant facing her fear of the Avatar state. Katara was always there for Aang. She was always the person that Aang could talk to about anything, but Appa's capture made him distant from her. You need a hug. Thank you for your concern, Katara. But after making it through the Serpent's Pass together, Aang saw a glimmer of hope that was a reminder of how much she means to him. I thought I was trying to be strong, but really I was just running away from my feelings. Seeing this family together, so full of happiness and love, it's reminded me how I feel about Appa and how I feel about you. Not long after that, things started to look up for Team Avatar. After they found Appa, Aang met a guru to help master the Avatar state. But it would come at a price. No! Let me go! Katara's in danger! I have to go! No, Aang. By choosing attachment, you have locked the chakra. If you leave now, you won't be able to go into the Avatar state at all. By teaming up with Iroh, he was able to find Katara in the depths of Ba Sing Se. Aang! But they barely made it out of the city alive. It took a few months for Aang to get back into Avatar shape. I got a lot more skills to refine if I'm gonna fight Ozai. You know, there is such a thing as overtraining. <laughs> but Katara was with him every step of the way. The time came to invade the Fire Nation and face the Fire Lord. What if, what if I don't come back? Aang. Don't say that. Of course he'll... <laughs> but when the invasion failed, Team Avatar needed to escape and regroup. They traveled to Ember Island, where they caught a showing of The Boy in the Iceberg, a play about Team Avatar. Wait! I thought you were the Avatar's girl! The Avatar? <laughs> Why, he's like a little brother to me. <laughs> I certainly don't think of him in a romantic way. Besides, how could he ever find out about this? Oh, you're getting up? Can you get me some fire flakes? But the play would create a lot of questions that Katara did not have answers for. We kissed at the invasion, and I thought we were going to be together, but we're not. Aang, I don't know. Why don't you know? Because we're in the middle of a war, and we have other things to worry about. This isn't the right time. Well, when is the right time? Aang, I'm sorry, but right now I'm just a little confused. I just said I was confused. 
I'm going inside. Oh, I'm such an idiot! That's rough, buddy. With the status of Aang and Katara in limbo, Sozin's comet was finally here. It was time to put their relationship aside and defeat the Fire Lord. What if he loses? Aang won't lose. Aang was finally able to tap into the Avatar state and defeat Ozai, while Katara teamed up with Zuko to take down Princess Azula. <laughs> After spending a year fighting evil and facing death dozens of times, Aang and Katara developed a strong bond. They became best friends, but it was time to become something more. They officially became a couple, but it would take Sokka a little bit of time to get used to it. After the war, Aang and Katara got married. In the years that followed, they started their own family. Their children, Bumi, Kaya, and Tenzin, would carry on the legacy of their parents. That is one good-looking family, huh? That's one happy family. Together, they rebuilt the Air Nation and helped guide the next Avatar, Korra. Aang's time has passed. My brother and many of my friends are gone. It's time for you and your generation to take on the responsibility of keeping peace and balance in the world. And I think you're going to be a great avatar. Thank you. That wraps up Aang and Katara's timeline. Which Katang moment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for all things Avatar.